shredders. Here is the Cube Stereo 160. HPC has to do with the frame material. I don't know why they put race in here. 625 means it's a 625 battery. It's full 27.5. This is the color, lunar gray, the year 2022. I'm gonna do a quick review, overview on this in a very small ride. This is the absolute cheapest version of the Cube Stereo you can get. Retailing for $6,149, but it looks like it's on sale for a lot cheaper right now. I'm not sure how that's gonna age, but I threw it in. It's got a 170 millimeter RockShox domain up front. This is a no compression, bare bones adjuster fork that can leave a little to be desired if you're going for big hits. It's got a 65 degree head angle on a 170 millimeter fork. That is a very rare one. Cube chooses to put a lot of the money into the brakes. It's got Magura four pot brakes and 203 rotors on it. Another interesting spec on this bike is the tan walls and exo tires for your 170 millimeter enduro fork. Love it or hate it, the Cube's got its non-traditional stem and spacer system with some kind of narrow bars, 780 on this size large. It's got this hump right here and I see a lot of people complain about it, but it doesn't affect riding the bike in any way. Like all of Cube's bikes, the main frame is carbon and the rear triangle is alloy. This bike features the 625 watt battery, the Bosch CX system. The stock tune was a little on the weak side for me, but I am over 200 pounds and it's also a full 27 bike, so it's gonna roll less. Moving back, the RockShox Deluxe Dom Piggyback for your 160 millimeters of travel back there. It's got a horsed link suspension, but it has the Trunnion 205 60 mount, which is super easy to find a new shock for. 12 speed Dior on the rear with the mismatch Magura brakes. Oh, and check this spoke magnet out. This thing is kind of vintage. This is me sitting on the bike. It's a size large. It fits really small. The reach is 460 on a large, which is really small. I love 27.5 bikes and it's super playful and balanced. I was able to bunny hop and play around on it really great. Quick rip down this trail, very jibby and fun. 27.5 bikes are great. This is a 2022 bike, but a quick glance at the 2023 base model equivalent to this one, it doesn't change much. It keeps the older Bosch system, the 625, battery. It's got the same exact components. The linkage looks new. The reaches get a little more modern and it ditches the front hump on the triangle, but I'm going to guess the new 2023 is going to ride very similar to this bike. In a nutshell, the Cube Stereo is a rare breed of long travel, small wheel, and very traditional geometry numbers.